excited about the supply drop, but no crowding this time. I see anyone near the inventory out of turn. I'm docking his next paycheck for time lost. Hello? Anybody home? Must be the new Jeanette. I guess. Call me Jim. Jim, how's Santa? Welcome to EDN3, Jim. The E stands for extreme. Still working on the rest. That's great, kid. You want to point me in the direction of your boss? I'm uh, Mr. Braddock. I think you'd have seen him already, but yeah. No, I mean the lead tech for this bay. I think they said her name was Gail. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. That's kind of me. I know, I know, I hear it all the time, girl's name, shouldn't I be off looking for a date for junior prom? Dude, I understand you're concerned. Don't worry about a thing. I am totally getting college credit for this gig. I'm kidding, I'm, I'm kidding. Not in the mood, I read you. Listen, kid, Gail, how about we do the get to know you while we work on putting my rig together? Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, are you serious? Uh, yeah, we shipped ahead in pieces. <laughs> now that I'm here, we can build it. Um, the thing is, I kind of put it together last week. Again. It's a nice solid rig you got. Pretty intuitive design. It was no trouble. I had fun with it, really. All the diagnostics checked out. In fact, I just got done with the finishing touches. What finishing touches? Threw on some spring-loaded Kerner retractors. Jeanette said they always came in handy when the heat was on, which happens more often than you think on an ice planet. Get it? <laughs> ice planet? Because the heat... Kid? Went... Listen to me and listen close. I got three things in the world. My wife, my son, and this rig. Guess which one I'm counting on to take care of the other two? You follow? That is my whole nest. I built it myself. I know every gear, every circuit, and I can't have her breaking down on me because some intern needed to show off. Can I just say two quick things? Please. Okay, first, you can't really say in the world anymore because you're on another planet. Sorry, just pet peeve. And? And secondly, okay, it's your show, Jim. I'm just here to help out. Give it a test drive whenever you feel like it, and if it ain't ship shape, break it all down by morning. Deal? I promise you won't be sorry. Let go of my hand. Your rig's up in your bay. I'll meet you up there whenever you wander up. Take your time. Jim Payton, please report to the quartermaster in the basement level. Jim Payton to the quartermaster. Dear Diary, I know it's early, but I was seized this morning by the divine spirit of artistic creation. I was at breakfast to Colbeck could come up with these griddle cakes made out of vital wheat gluten or something, and it got me thinking about the corn my folks used to grow when they still had their farm on Olympus One. And I was saying how I couldn't have been more than ten, but I built this thing called a cornipole. But it was really more of a slingshot, and then I realized nobody was at the table anymore, so I came out here and I installed some kern retractors on the new guy's rig. It's like a human corn... I heard the whole hangar jawing about how we were getting a fresh pair of faces around here. I'm the quartermaster, name's Bowers, but most people call me Birdie. You make an honest dollar, you come spend it here, eh? All right, pal, take your time eyeballing the wares. I'll stay out of your hair. Quality hunting knife. Top of the line for up close protection. Comes with a lifetime guarantee and unlimited free sharpening. Not that you'll need it. Nice! She'll pack a bigger punch now, though the trade-off's a touch more recoil. It's well worth it, in my humble opinion.
see you around. Yeah, nice meeting you, Birdie. this though. Oh, you ready to try this? Dry treated hypertensile curve retractors. I like to call it the Cockpit Express. You got one on the front, one on the back. You just clip in, give the line a tug, shoop! And by shoop, you mean launch myself up at solid metal from 10 meters down and hope I don't break my neck? As an alternative to being eaten? Yeah. diagnostics check, but let's see if those servo controllers are working like you remember them. Go ahead, test out that claw arm. Great. Now test the drill arm swing servos with a punch. Excellent. Notice how much faster your arm's swinging? Just a little gift from yours truly. Okay, just a few more tests. Now the drill. Um, uh, great. Lastly, I upgraded the shielding on your rig for to class four. Try to piss it posture. Mm, beautiful. You'll be using that move here on EDM three more than you have probably on any other job. Sweet, we're done. Let's release your rig. Be free. LaRoche, come in. Corona's base to LaRoche, do you copy? God damn it, we can't lose LaRoche now. We barely have Diaz replaced. Hey, Chief. Jim Payton here. You copy? Payton, is your rig online already? Yeah, looks like the kid here might know his stuff, but I'll know for sure after I take her out for a spin. 
That French fella still not back? Yes, I'm afraid he hasn't been responding to radio calls. Well, I'd go have a look for him. I know where we parted ways, and he did save our butts just a little. Say no more, Peyton. You've got your first assignment. Good luck. Look at that. Hey, darling. Uh, hi. So I'm just gonna decide that it's not weird to be having a one-way conversation with you. Not weird at all. Yeah. Uh, oh, hey, I thought you might need some music up there to keep you sane, keep you thinking of home, so well, there's a playlist for me attached to this message. Hopefully it all magically works and you can play it as soon as your rig's up and running. Okay, that's it for now. Just let me know you got there one piece, okay? Miss you already. Doesn't look good. Best to follow the trail. Coronas, this is Peyton. You still read me? Peyton, Coronas actual. Copy you loud and clear. Any sign of LaRoche? Well, I found his rig back at, let's see, White Canyon Junction. Looks pretty beat up, but no trace of the man himself. Thanks for the update. Just keep looking. I know he's out there somewhere. Braddock out. Hello? 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 LaRoche? 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 You out here? You out here? You out here? You out here? Over here! Over here! C'est des conneries 
I had that crab out of its shell and ready to dip in butter. Then one foot sleeps over the ledge and my whole rig is on her back. Did you see what he did to her? Nothing that can't be fixed. You're lucky you got out with all your limbs. Ah, keep your perspective to yourself, rookie. Fight a few giant crab monsters of your own, then speak to me of luck. Fair enough. Guess we're even. First, we survive. Then we keep score. This is Peyton. I found your Frenchman. He's at a fueling depot near Watkins Pass. Oh, that's a relief. Sending out a rescue team now. Good work, Peyton. You should find your account credited with a search and rescue bonus. Uh, hold on. Peyton, you say you're near Watkins Pass? Your predecessor, Diaz, set up a thermal post nearby. It's been sitting full, wasting tea energy since she disappeared. Locate the post and tap it before you return. Just be careful. Acrid like the nest around untended thermal posts. Good luck. Peyton, now we are even. I'll spare myself riding home in your bitch seat and wait here for a tow. Whatever you say, Mac. So that is your rig, huh? When do they finish building it? Oh, me no. Surely that can't be how it was meant to look? Someone is playing a joke on you, n'est-ce pas? Huh, should have expected that. Personally, I think it's a fine example of form follows function. If its function is to be a hulking eyesore. <laughs> 